Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a look a lot of you have been waiting for and it's over this rose quartz inspired all acrylic marble. There is no gel, no paints, nothing used in this set. It is all acrylic. And on top of that, they glow. Check out how cool this marble looks when it's glowing. There's so much depth to this. Really, any of the pictures in the video that I've taken of this set really doesn't do it justice. Just because there's so many layers, I really wanted to kind of get that authentic look that a rose quartz has just all the marbling kind of deep inside the nail um, along with doing the glow so you can kind of see how if you look close you can see that deep inside the pieces there's more marbling and just different layers so these are some of the inspiration picks that I found uh, as far as color choice and marbling so you can see this previous set that I posted kind of this little teaser set she did like, a, uh, we kept it more like a lighter pink and kind of soft with the marble. And it was kind of inspired by this piece. And it was just my choice personally. Um, but you want to get you some type of inspiration to kind of look towards. So you can get the organic characteristics of the marble. And the glow, it was kind of an afterthought, but I'm really glad I added it. Just a little, another element to show you guys to add in there just to create that kind of personalized effect for your client. So let's get into it. First, we're going to start off by removing her previous set. Well, we're not removing it. it it's an overlay, so we're going to soak it off. And I'm using this Red Baron bit from Atwood Industries. You can see it's very, very coarse. It's super aggressive, but it's also a um, safety bit so it's not going to tear up the skin but you want to kind of pay attention to how low you're taking down the product with this bit because you don't want to dig into the natural nail or anything like that so because i have builder gel i did a feel with the builder gel it's the pink that you can see it's so much softer it comes off so quick with this bit so i'm just kind of taking down the mass of the enhancement with this bit and then i'm going to go in with the mean green bit from atwood industries and kind of refine it and take it down a little lower. It's less aggressive, especially because I've had mine a while and I probably need to purchase a new one. It still works great, but it's just not aggressive as the Red Baron bit and it's not supposed to be. So I can kind of have more control and get the product lower without actually getting to her natural nail and digging into it and damaging it or anything like that. So I'm using these hands down nail wraps and these are amazing these are my favorite and it says for soak off gel but i um filed it so thin it's not going to take long to soak off no matter what method you use and it comes in a pack of 10 individually wrapped and in a pack of i think 100 or 200 total pieces and this product um it has the cotton pad of course that you put the acetone on but the actual like wrap itself it kind of puts you in mind of well it doesn't put you in mind it is basically what they use when like you give blood or um when they do like taping in sports it's self-adhesive but it's not tacky itself it's not physically like sticky feeling i think it has to do with the texture of the product and how it's woven so i just apply that to all nails soak it um remove uh the acrylic and gel as much as i wanted to i didn't want to take these completely down so when you see I'm applying, you know, acrylic in future clips, I don't have all her acrylic off. It didn't need to all come off. So her nails are not discolored or that janky looking when you see them in the future. I just needed to take them down some so they're not too thick when I go and apply these layers of marbling. So let's get into the products. I'm using the Speed White from Young Nails. Um, it's my favorite, opaque, bright white. And I'm using this Glam and Glitz Lush Coconut and it's like a diamondy looking type sparkle i really wouldn't say it's a glitter per se just it's kind of a shimmer and this glass um clear acrylic from tones and this is a sheer um very tinted pink that i made but it kind of puts you in mind of like the french acrylic that you know you do it's kind of sheer but has that pink heavy tint and that's just a natural white from seven stars so up next is the glow acrylic that I mix. And I usually mix this three parts of clear to one part the glow pigment and it kind of gives a sheer white type look because of the pigment. But when I mix this one, I added a little more white and clear. And I used both of these glow colors, the aqua and the green. And it kind of gave me more of a white look opposed to like a sheer off white. 
So lastly, I'm using the pink cover powder from Young Nails. And it seems like a lot, but it gives a beautiful look. So next I want to talk about inspiration. So with things like marbling and anything organic that you're doing, maybe cheetah print or anything you're trying to mimic, um, I really suggest that you have some source of inspiration to look towards. So without a doubt, when people look at it, they can say, hey, it kind of looks like that pink crystal or it does look exactly like that. So I kind of found this picture also and I really like the marbling and the color. And so I went off that to the best of my abilities. So I'm just clipping this nail. My mom, whose nails I'm doing, I don't know if I even mentioned, she thought these kind of looked like stilettos, uh, her pinky. And she's like, well, let's try stiletto on the pinky. So I'm just taking two beads and I just kind of alternate depending on the look. The most important key to this look is the layering. It, that's 100% what's going to make this look more authentic is layering um, the like streaks of the white marbling and then kind of coating it with the clear or the sheer pink doing another layer of the you know marbling and just adding those different elements and as I said having that point of reference that picture will kind of help you understand how it looks naturally so you can mimic it on the nail so my next huge tip that i would like to give in doing this look is when you're doing the marbling with the white or you may want to do a different color depending on what you're doing but we're marbling with white in this look is to do that very wet when you're laying that white you see that it's just really really wet a really small bead and i'm just spreading it out trying to get that kind of sharp line edge and kind of blur it and like I said, you, you really need to look towards that picture and kind of see the characteristics of the marbling. And you can see how I'm crossing it over and I'm leaving some of it kind of, you know, that sharp, straight look and some of it kind of a little more, I don't want to say messy, but just kind of a little more not defined as far as the shape. And so I got these lines. They're not built up. We're not doing 3D necessarily. So then we're going to take a small bead of that sheer pink acrylic and basically do like a mini encapsulation. We're not building up the nail. We're just going to coat those white um, marble lines that we did. And now I'm adding a little bit of that kind of shimmer um, glitter. And we're still gonna add more layers on top of that. That's just so it can look like it's kind of deep in the nail. I can really say you, these don't like stand out like, uh, they are kind of something you have to appreciate up close. It's real, like more like of a personal type nail, I guess, if that makes sense. Like they just look real beautiful to kind of, you know, all at up close and you can see all those different layers. So then I applied that glitter and I'm using the sheer pink again to kind of cover that. So it looks like it's really deep set in the nail. And then I am switching from applying this sheer pink. If I leave it a little bit drier, it'll look more of a deeper pink, as you can see, kind of towards the free edge. And if I get it wetter, it's a little more sheer, obviously, and less concentrated. So that's also what I'm looking to do, because if you look at a natural piece of the stone, there is places where it's a little bit more deeper with the, you know, the pink, like it's a more um, opaque looking color opposed to being like a lighter, more sheer pink. So that's another tip also, you can alternate between when you're using those beads wetter and when you're using them drier. So then you see me, after I covered it with the sheer pink, I went in and added another little bit of the um, white marbling on top and then let that dry a little bit and I encapsulated it, I chose to encapsulate it in the clear. Now moving on to the next nail. So I'm gonna take multiple beads of different colors of our product and apply it really wet on the nail. You can see I took some of the clear, the sheer pink, I'm taking some of the sheer white and some of that shimmer diamond looking color. And I'm just going to move that around on the nail. Again, we're looking to create layers and depth and more concentrated bits of pink and you know more areas that have that sheer white, more concentrated. And so I'm developing that as a base and you can see I'm using that sheer pink a little bit drier so I can get a stronger pink as I mentioned before. And I am using also the cover pink that's going to leave it a little more softer um, in some areas and you just apply that you know to the nail and create that base. 
and we encapsulate all the nails so they are going to have strength. And for those who don't know, if you build a nail with nothing but super wet beads, it can cause the nail to be brittle and break very easily. So these beads, some of them are drier, some of them are wetter, but at the end of it, we are going to encapsulate with either the sheer pink or the clear acrylic. And we're not going to use a wet bead, we're going to use the normal bead, and that's going to give us our strength with these nails. So I'm just applying the you know white and the shimmer color real deep off in there some of these lines are the um, glow acrylic I don't know which ones they are at this point because the white and the glow look very similar here on camera but I just want to let you know some of those lines are glow not all of them but some are and I like to put the glow in these lower layers so when you see it in real life um, it's hard to portray on pictures you can really tell that it's deep in the nail it glows super bright but you can tell that there's layers so you can see me doing like a i'm calling it a mini encapsulation this is not the final encapsulation but i'm doing that i kind of let it dry and then i'm going in again with more of our marbling with the white and i'm putting down a very wet bead of the white and kind of manipulating it with my brush as you can see again this is not supposed to be 3d i'm not building up anything like that when you look from the side you can't even really see it it looks like a paint more so than anything um it doesn't really look like acrylic when you look at it from the side as far as how it's standing out so that's why you want to work with it really wet and it's really really easy to work with um surprisingly you may you really have to try it it's really easy to manipulate when it's wet and doing this look I've also done a galaxy look with all acrylic and it's kind of the same type thing working with really wet beads maybe I'll do a, another video on that um, I really like working with acrylic in this way um, you don't have to worry about it curing or drying or anything like that so I'm just applying these layers of the white marbling, some of the cover pink. I really like to leave that glitter type color deeper in the nail so it's not real obvious. I didn't want these to be like sparkly or anything. I just wanted to add that element. So I'm just going in with all these different marbling lines, some kind of um, thicker, more um, dense, some kind of you know thinner, and then I am encapsulating some areas with the sheer pink in some areas I encapsulate with the clear just to kind of alternate that concentration of pink as well and I don't know if you can tell um, if you really look you can see a little bit of that shimmer deep off in there and just those layers of that white so I'm gonna show you one more example example <laughs> this was a lot to record you guys just because there was so much to it it took me forever to edit this video and do this voiceover also just because there's so much so i'm sorry it's so long but it's hard to explain something like this very quickly and i really wanted to give you guys a thorough explanation of how i achieve this look and kind of make it make sense and i hope i'm doing that so again with this nail we started off every nail doesn't have to start off with the same base everyone can be different so some I start off with certain mixtures of different colors it's, you know I just vary so they all have a different and unique look so there's no like oh first apply pink second apply this third like there's no way I can sit here and tell you to do it like that because it's not going to give you a natural look so you just want to kind of you know find a piece of the picture that you looked up and kind of try to mimic that then move over do another piece on a different nail do one that has just real strong white marbling and do one that has barely any just to kind of create that variety and so it just looks so natural and you can do this with different designs you could do like um a french or something like that with this look also we were going to but i completely forgot <laughs> So we ended up adding crystals at the end. So you can see I, I applied those layers of the white and I'm using that cover pink and that sheer pink very, very wet to kind of um, encapsulate those that white marbling we laid down. 
and then I'm going to go through let it dry a little bit and add some more of those lines and again some of these are glow some of these are regular white I don't know which one is which and it is a very simple look there um, you do want to add like you can see me adding just pieces of that kind of natural white kind of dropping it and kind of blending it out a little bit so it's you know kind of concentrated not too specific of a look it's kind of like this is a messy look but it also has to have some type of structure for it to look a certain way and so you can see I'm adding a little more of that pink and kind of dropping it in certain places so it'll be more concentrated but as far as the actual like marbling lines do you see how I'm applying this line and then really wet but I'm blending only one side out I'm kind of moving only that side towards the free edge out and leaving it kind of sharp towards the the side that's kind of facing the cuticle area I hope that makes sense and that'll kind of give it a certain look that I notice naturally and I'm kind of applying a little bit more of that white to kind of make it a little sharper and then blending it down or away essentially you kind of just want to put the line and then blend it out on one side no matter what side it is so you can see I applied it and um, I chose to blend it down more towards like the free edge over to the right and that I found gave it a little more natural look as I examined the pictures closer and seeing the characteristics of the marbling it seemed like it was sharp on one side and it kind of like dissipated out again I that's the best way I can decide like how to explain it to you <laughs> and um, if not just rewind it and just see how I, I did it <laughs> and so I'm just showing you up close how it looks and you can see those layers hopefully so this is a the other hand I did and this is the finished look before it's shaped and you can see the glow some of those lines are glowing and it just looks so cool to me I like it, if nothing else for like how it glows I think it's super cool and so you can see cutting off the lights cutting back on I was just having too much fun so next I filed and shaped I normally don't show me shaping at all but I wanted to show you guys the bits that I use um, the information is always in the description box the items I use most frequently so always please look down there and it'll have a whole bunch of information including coupon codes and everything like that so I'm just showing you me finish filing and the cool thing about this look is as you file if it's too thick in some areas you, you'll kind of like reveal like a, a new look because you have so many layers so um, let's say it's a little too thick in some area and you file it down you will like probably get to like more white or something so if for some reason like you need to take it down it's really going to be hard to kind of mess up this image you know like when you normally encapsulate and like oh my god it's too thick and you like filed the glitter off or something and you're like oh snap I messed this up now I have to fix it it's like this is kind of hard to mess up in that way because if you file it down too low you're just revealing like another layer or something so I filed it and everything like that and I'm using the OPI Axiom top coat which is my favorite to use directly over acrylic and you just look past her dry skin it's remedied at the end but not right now <laughs> so look how beautiful this is up close and the depth and just the characteristic of the marble and the it's just so beautiful to me and so next I'm showing you the crystals that I'm using and they're all Swarovski vintage rose and I use size 12 size 9 and size 7 just for a little simple cuticle bling and I chose this color because believe it or not it doesn't really show but it has the same tone of pink as the marbling does I looked at the Swarovski rose and light rose and the pink was just, the tone of it was just off so these look darker but they're the same tone if that makes any sense so I'm using resin and I buffed the nail after I, I applied the top coat cured it then I buffed the nail so to create as to create that texture so that the crystals will have a better chance of adhering and it'll um, help with the longevity if you apply you know slick it on a slick surface it'll slide right off so just keep that in mind so I always like to buff before I apply my crystals onto the nail just to have that roughness and that kind of texture 
So I um, use my resin and I'm using my crystals and I'm just kind of descending in size. I use size 12, size nine, and two size sevens around the side. Kind of move those around, make sure they're even and you can see how blingy they are. And we just applied one size. I use a size nine for that finger and you can see I'm checking, making sure they're in the middle from this angle. Turn them around and then we're going to seal them with the OPI Axiom per the usual. And that's it. And I'm just showing you how blingy these crystals are. I just love the vintage rose stones. I do. So this is our final look. Finally. <laughs> I know this video is long. And I really hope it helps. And like I said, you can do this with different colors. However you feel. Whatever's in your drawer on your shelf. So that'll kind of mimic this look. I really think the most important parts that of this look as far as color choice is to have that kind of sheer pink that you can manipulate, use drier to be more concentrated, and also use more sheer. Um, you don't need the glow. It's just so freaking cool to me. <laughs> and when I zoom in, you can tell the layers a little more. You see how some of it's more bright? That's the parts that are more up front and some of it's you know less bright. Those are the parts that are really kind of set in a little more in the depths of the nail in those layers. So um, like I said, that sheer pink is something you probably would really need to create this look. Of course, a white. You probably really don't need a sheer white because if you have a really nice opaque white, you can kind of sheer that out by making it a wetter bead. Um, I would say that probably like a nudish type cover pink color would also help to creating that type of look having that softer pink and of course you need clear to encapsulate with so i really hope this video helped you guys kind of understand how i achieved this all acrylic marble look and helped you kind of visualize the steps i took to achieve it please leave me any questions down below and i'll definitely try to get back to you guys so I really want to thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video. And also don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you have a nice day. Bye.